to do Cosmic Crew. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, I got another video for you. So this is, as you can see, Ancestor Messages on how to get and keep, you know, a man or a woman, whatever you prefer, whatever is equally yoked to you, however that appears to you, you know, no right or wrong, whatever resonates with your soul. How do you get um, and keep a person that's ready and willing and able to love that's the only type of people we talking about people that are have done the healing they've taken accountability and they're ready to be in committed relationships in whatever capacity that is to you you feel me that's the question <laughs> okay so we gonna start with the men so from the divine masculines, how do you get a woman? How do you get a woman? And then we'll say, how do you keep it? It. How do you keep her? <laughs> how do you catch and how do you keep? There's some advice. How do you get a woman? How do you find what you're seeking? How do you find what you're seeking in a woman? Some advice for our divine masculine. Wow. Okay. I got eight of cups. I have the Father of Cups in reverse and the Five of Sticks. So already, what I'm seeing here is that to, to find a woman or man, whatever it may be that you desire, that is equally yoked to you, you're going to have to emotionally leave the rest of your relationships. There's too many emotional ties here. Um, there's too many other options and you have to clear your heart and your mind also grudges I feel like um, what they're saying here with this um, this father of cups in reverse is that you have to be willing to show your sensitive side you have to be willing to show how loving and caring you can be you have to be willing. You can't be um just a hard, rough ass, tough ass nigga. You know you have to show you you like to cuddle. You like to um you know you just like to lay up and laugh and and cook and clean. Like you have to show your domesticated side as well because you have to um be that that comfort with this five of sticks here. Um. Wow, it seems that men, it's like there's this, this competition between men. Let's clarify. It's like there's this competition between men. And it's like you're not going for the woman that's good for you. You're going for the woman that looks the best on your arm. You're trying to get the approval of other men with your woman. And also, gossiping, men, um, you can't tell your homeboys about how this bitch pussy was and how, you know, she sucked dick and because that, you know, that drives a lot of competition as well. Now, your homie won't want your, you know, you have, <laughs> you can't kiss and tell. Stop kissing and telling. Start, um, being more expressive with your emotions. And if you're interested in somebody, you're going to have to let everybody else go. Like, that's the only way that you show that you're mentally prepared for the union. Like I said in my last video, um, 
everybody always got a plan B. There's always the uh, the second option. There's always the what if person. The rebound. So I got the nine of nines clarifying the eight of cups. So I'm also sensing that um, there needs to be a lot of apologies on both ends. Um, we do a lot of damage to each other. A lot of emotional scarring and we need to say sorry. We need to say sorry. We need to, you know, be more considerate of what we're putting people through for our own selfish gain. And I'm not just saying men. I'm, I'm saying ours as, as human beings. I have this Father of Cups here clarified by the High Priestess. Um... So this is giving me, even even as men, trust your intuition, trust your gut. I've said it before, a lot of men get set up, they get robbed, and it's because of lust. They're looking with um, their raw desires, not with their mental, their, their logic. Not with, I don't even want to say heart, because I know that's not really how men process their feelings. You don't have to follow your heart, but trust your gut. You know what I mean? Trust your gut when it comes to who you're sleeping with, who you're laying with, who, because men are precious as well as far as souls. And a lot of men are really taken advantage of because they're following their desires. You know those fleeting desires because y'all come quick anyway so you did all this you know you've been a bus in three minutes now niggas then came in and kicked the back door ran through your pockets shit like that are you know this bitch she ain't no good she um stealing out your out your bank account and shit you know there's things that can be avoided but we're looking with our external eyes and I'm saying that because I got the devil, you know. So that's why I'm reiterating this. A lot of lustful desires. You have to think about the long run, not just about the moment. What woman is going to be there for the long run? When, you, when your knees hurting, and your back hurt, and you need help tying your shoes, and oiling your scalp. Not just the one that, you know, suck your balls good. <sighs> okay, so once you get her, how do you keep her? So we've got her. How do we keep her? So I, I'm seeing um a lot of men. You're gonna have to commitment, commitment. A lot of men have fear of commitment, and I think it's just a fear of being controlled. Um, the sun of coins here. Also, it's gonna take money. Women are expensive. You're going to need, you're going to need a little hustle about you. And you're also going to need somebody who's willing to grow with you. He's a, you know, this is a son of coins. This is a slow moving. This is over time. This is a legacy that we're trying to build here. We got this ten of cups. So you need to, um, breathe life into each other. Spark interest into each other that, you know, are profitable. Things that you can do as a family. Things that you can, um, put your name on and branch out and give you things that are exciting more than just the normal 
routine, bills, children. You know, you gotta you gotta keep it fresh, keep it exciting. Um, and also celebrate. Also celebrate every moment. Keep it fresh. This is like the honeymoon stage. You know, you have to keep that honeymoon stage going. You have to keep it fresh. Keep it interesting. Keep it like it, like puppy love. You have to stay in that puppy love phase because we go from this and then we go to the Ten of Cups and everything just piles on. And it's just like I always say, the longer you're with somebody, that's the more resentment you can build. But communicating and just talking things through and that doesn't mean you agree but talking is saying you know what i can i can see why you would think that that can change so many things it doesn't mean oh i'm wrong it doesn't mean oh you're right it means i hear you i'm listening i understand and i appreciate that you're even open enough to tell me that we need to be more open we need to be more compassionate we need to have um goals and it's more than just instagram goals we need to have goals for the union and you need to take control as the man you have to be the head of the household you have to be the one that points things out that d makes decisions <sighs> okay so, for my Divine Feminines, here we go, here we go, here we go. Divine Feminines, how do you, um, how do you get a man? How do you get the man that's right for you? How do you get the man that, that balances you? How do you get them? Message from our divine feminine ancestors. <laughs> How you get a man? Five. Ooh. Okay, I got five of sticks, seven of coins, and the ten of baskets. So automatically, you're going to have to stop being a bitch. Stop um, being in messy drama. Stop being um, a tyrant. Stop being egotistical. Stop being selfish. There's too much drama here. Women, there's, there's just too much drama. Um, too much petty bickering, too much arguing. Um, men don't like that. Five of sticks, offer it. Men, men like women that like to be seen and not heard. I'm sorry. There's something, there's something about, there's a class, classic elegance to a woman that can, can say things by not saying th nothing at all. Just walks in the room and her presence is enough. Y'all talk too much. Shut up. Listen. And not and not just listen enough so you know when it's your turn to talk. So you can say what the fuck you've been thinking the whole time. No, listen. Take value in someone else's opinion. Be more um studious. I feel like when they took home act and all that shit, bitches, <laughs> damn, calm down. <laughs> you, bitches, <laughs> you bitches can't cook, you barely can clean. All you want is a wig and your ass clapping on the internet and you want a nigga to pay, pay for everything and spend all his hard on money on you while you do what? Seven of coins while you do what? You sit, you sit and wait for what? And do what? And accomplish what? And for the women that are accomplishing things with the seven of coins, bitch, ain't no man gonna wanna be around your rude ass. 
and that's all you can talk about. That's all you can talk about is your um accolades, your degrees, what you've accomplished, and how you don't need no man. How y'all want a man so bad, but you don't need one. How y'all want how y'all want a man so bad? Ten of cups. Y'all want a man so bad, but you don't need one. For what? You got your girl. You got it. You gonna handle it. You're not receptive. You're not receptive. You 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 hustling backwards, mama. You hustling backwards. And it's also because there's a lack of respect. But that's your choice. You're fucking with men that you don't respect. Let's clarify a little bit. <laughs> How you get a man? Ten of cups. You have to, you have to be a wife. If you wanna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You gonna have to have some boundaries, bitch. You gonna, you gonna have to, um, you gonna have to be that role. You gotta be that person. You gotta step into that energy. You gotta walk like, talk like, act like. Whatever it is you think you're trying to accomplish. Y'all sending mixed signals. Niggas don't, they can't pick up on it. And then you, y'all post everything. And y'all talk about everything. It's all for show. And I always hear this thing. Everybody talks about high values. But your values should be based on your morals. And I'm making that point because you're trying to get a man. I'm sorry. No man is going to want a woman that any man, no man is going to want to wife a woman that any man has access to, even if it's not literally. But if you make your, you, there has to be some some um mystery there has to be some mystery here you putting it all out on the table you telling him your whole past every relationship you done been in you telling him your problems with your mommy your sister your cousin your bestie as i'm saying it's too much talking too much gossip too much drama men don't like that How you get a man? Nine to six. The sun and reverse. They, they, they going off, dog. <laughs> they are going off. <laughs> this don't apply to me because <sighs> I don't have these problems. Um, I see there's a lack of self-esteem here. So many women are insecure. So many women are jealous. There's there's jealousy. There's envy. I got the sun in reverse. The strength in reverse. Nine, nine of wands in reverse. So many women are so defensive with this five of sticks. You're too defensive. You're too argumentative. You think you're always right. You never want to be wrong. You think you know it all. You think the sun don't shine until you wake up in the morning. And <sighs> This is also highlighting... Um, currency you have to you have to know your worth but that doesn't mean to sell yourself short knowing your worth doesn't mean that you that you sell yourself because I'm telling you whatever man it is you ain't gonna have to ask because you're already walking and talking and showing what your worth what you deserve what you require bitch you ain't got to say shit he 
come to that conclusion just off the um off the glance. Just sizing you up. He already know. Uh uh uh. I gotta come correct with this. I gotta come correct. Strength in reverse. There's so much power in being a woman. There's so much power in feminine energy. But it's cool. It's serene. It doesn't say much. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. Cool, calm, and collected. That's how you keep a man. Stay cool, calm, and collected. That's how you get a man. You ain't got to do too much. Let your energy speak for itself. Let your aura speak for itself. And he'll know he can't play with you. You ain't got to boast. You ain't got to brag. That's masculine. You got a nice car. You got a nice, a nice job. You a hardworking woman. You taking care of yourself. You handling your responsibilities. He know that shit, bitch. You ain't got to say it. It's obvious. He see when you pull up in the Audi. And you got on them, um, them boots and them furs, bitch. He see that shit. With your earrings dangling, you accessorized. You ain't got to say much. So once you get them, how you keep... <laughs> once you get them, how do you keep them? And also... The longer you go without fucking a man, the longer he will stay in your life. The longer you hold out the pussy is because apparently men consider however you treat him is how you treat every other nigga. Okay? So if you meet him and you fuck him, he figured that's just what you do. <laughs> that's just how you live. That's just how you get it popping. So you meet this man and you don't say nothing about sex. Y'all don't even bring it up. And he figured, oh, that's just the type of woman she is. Across the board. A lot of y'all need to be celibate. You need to be celibate for your own sake. How do you keep a man? Ah, automatically ten of coins. You, there has to be some. You have to make the home work living you gotta make life worth living when they say be his peace they mean that ain't the cups you have to you have to be the fountain of of youth of beauty of like I said you have to possess that um that je ne sais quoi okay it's just something about you you have to have that that childlike girl like innocence you have to have that um you have to keep him on his toes but also without being his mother without being um you know just too authoritative i tell y'all all the time it's it's not what you say it's how you say it you can get the same point across and you don't have to be chauvinistic you don't have to be the macho man if you want to keep a man because no man is going to want to argue all the time no man is going to want to be belittled and talked to like a boy He's not. And there's so much power in silence. There's so much power in expression of body language. But also in communication because the passive aggressiveness, that gets you nowhere. And so you have to find the middle ground. There, there, it should always feel like love in your home it should always every day should feel brand new 
Every day should feel brand new. Everything you touch, everything you bring in the house, everything you cook, everything, everything. It should just be made with love and centered around love and peace. And you have to be that vessel. Because we all know who run the world. Stop it. You have to be the vessel of peace and harmony. You control the temperament in the house. Everybody knows that. I don't care who paying the bills. The woman controls the energy in the home. So if you want to make it last forever, shout out to Keith Sweat. You have to be the walking embodiment of compassion. And that's without being a pushover. And that's without being Hitler. And that also starts with the right man. You can, it has to be the right man from jump. So don't don't apply this to the wrong nigga. Because <laughs> you're wasting your time. <laughs> you're wasting your time. We're talking already to somebody that's equally yoked. And ready for whatever relationship you are. Whatever type of relationship you want to be in, right? So to keep that going. Like I said, every day has to feel brand new. It should never be enough. You should always feed into each other, pour into each other, grow with each other, nurture each other, admire each other. Uplift each other. It has to be, y'all gotta be friends. And keep your family out your business. Keep your family out your business, out your finances. That's on both ends. Anybody who only has an opinion will only have one because you gave them a reason to. You gave them the evidence. (laughs) They will have nothing to say if you didn't tell them. Keep your family out your business. Where it doesn't concern them. If they don't have a solution, they shouldn't really have an opinion. That should go back to your partner. 